games are already too expensive and now they're gonna be even more expensive. I don't know how to say hi, honestly. It's a bit awkward. But hi! By the time this video goes up, it will be after the 27th of March, which means that the eShop for this 3DS and the Wii U is dead. Rest in peace. Yeah, I hope you downloaded Pokemon Bank. I told you to do it, so if you haven't done it, um, it's your fault. But today we're gonna talk about my 3DS and my memories with my 3DS, because I, I can't really recommend you any games besides the Mario games and the Pokemon games, because that's all that I played. You know, I have no indie games recommendations, and you, even if I did, the eShop is dead. So I'm just gonna talk about my memories with this thing. My system is a new 3DS, no, a new 2DS, a new 2DS XL. And, oh, it's opened, okay. Hi, Yoshi. <laughs> um, yeah, I got it off Amazon because it was like 50 euros off, so it was only 100 euros in 2020. Yeah, my original 3DS was the red one that came out in 2012 and I think I got it in 2013, maybe, or 2012. I know for a fact it was smuggled from Italy because it was released in Italy a bit earlier than here. That's all I know about it. It was the original 3DS XL, the red one. My friend had the blue one. It was cool. <laughs> and then I upgraded to this because I couldn't really afford the new 3DS, which is what I originally wanted. Also, I keep my 2DS in this little bag. And look at all my Pokemon games. They're so nice. <laughs> nice to look at. I love them. And speaking of Pokemon games, Pokemon Y is gonna be the first thing that I talk about, because that was my first Pokemon game ever on my 3DS. It originally belonged to my brother, but he wasn't playing it. I noticed he was not playing it, so I went up to him, hi, I want to play the game. Oh, only one save file per, per game? Can I delete yours? But he said, yeah. If I choose Froakie, and I did. Um, so that, that's how I got into Pokemon. <laughs> By stealing a game from a sibling. I never finished it back then, um, but I finished it this year and it was already fun. Not the best, obviously. But it was fun. Team Flare is fucking stupid, but you know what? I enjoyed their dialogue. <laughs> they were kind of funny. And yeah, I finished the Pokedex, got my Vivian collection all this year. Perfect, great, full circle. My next favorite thing about the 3DS was always the rewards on the My Nintendo website. You know, the rewards used to be actually good, now they're just wallpapers and shit. Although you can get physical merch, like you can get a Kirby mouse pad. I do kind of want that. Do you know, back in the day, <laughs> we had awards such as different themes for the 3DS, which you know, the Switch cannot relate, but the 3DS had so many themes and you could get them for free on my Nintendo because I did not have the money to buy themes, so I just got the free ones. I got a Mario one, an Animal Crossing one, some more like just random themes. And then one time when I transferred my system from the old one to this one you have to transfer accounts there's a whole process it didn't work for me like i got so many errors i had to email nintendo and i was like hi please help me transfer my account to my new 2ds system please i'm desperate and they replied hi it seems like you are in europe and you contacted nintendo of america here's the correct email you dumbass i'm like thank you and then i emailed nintendo of europe hi <laughs> Same email as before, but to you this time. And they, they transferred my account through their account manager or whatever, I don't know. And when that happened, I got this cute Yoshi team. It just appeared on my 3DS. And I don't know if everyone has it or, it was, or if it was just a co coincidence somehow. I got it after transferring accounts. And it's really cute. I love it. <laughs> Another reward on my Nintendo was a game called My Nintendo Picross The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs> it's a bit random because um, Twilight Princess was on the Wii slash GameCube. Maybe because they made a HD remake for the Wii U. Maybe that's why it was relevant. It's basically a Picross game. If you don't know what Picross is, Google it. But you know, that my favorite way to spend the free time. 
my free time on my 3DS. <laughs> it looks like this on the inside. Wow, look at it. So aesthetic. And yeah, that was a reward on my Nintendo.com. And then speaking of Picross games, there was a there was another free one on the eShop. That was also my favorite. It's just called Pokemon Picross, and you just Picross Pokemon. This one has microtransactions in it. So if if you have, if you don't want to pay, you have to wait. It's like a mobile game, but I don't think it's actually on on mobile. It was the first game with micro microtransactions I think that I ever played. Another thing that I really loved <laughs> was my first gacha game ever, Nintendo Badge Arcade. You know, I found it on the eShop while looking through free games. Same way I found Pokemon Picross because I couldn't afford games. I still can't, honestly. So I just went fr through free games and I found it. And I played it every day for a while. <laughs> I once even paid like a pound to get more plays out of it. But just one time. Because I realized it's a bit of a waste of money paying, paying to get pixels. <laughs> I just played my two free plays every day. And yeah, the last thing that I'll say about the 3DS is a, it's a full circle back to Pokemon Y. Because <laughs> when I played Pokemon Y, I discovered Wonder Trades and I did a bunch of Wonder Trades. And somebody gave me a Chikorita. You know, and I was like, that's a fucking cute Pokemon. It's gonna be on my team. That was 2014, maybe. And then in 2020, I played Pokemon Omega Ruby for the first time and I decided let me download Pokemon Bank and actually get it for a year to s just to see what's up. It was actually really affordable compared to Pokemon Home. It's only 3 euros a year. Pokemon Home is 20 euros for a whole year. Like, what the fuck? Just say you're greedy. But yeah, then I was playing with Pokemon Bank and then I saw, oh, you can sort by shinies. I wonder if I have any shinies because I don't think I do, but I'm gonna see just for fun. And then I click it, and my Chikorita from Pokemon Y from 2014 that somebody wonder traded to me <laughs> was shiny, and I never realized. I did think it did look a bit yellow, I just assumed it was the, the graphics. Because Charmeleon in Pokemon Y isn't red either, it's like a pale red, so I just assumed it was the graphics if I did notice anything. So yeah, that's it for my 3DS memories. Could I do the Wii U as well in the same video? Yeah, let's go. Anyway, I don't have my Wii U here right now. It's in my dorm under my bed. But yeah, the reason why I ever wanted a Wii U is because on the Wii, I used to play Mario Kart Wii online all the time. And then one day I logged on and it said, sorry, the server gone, dead. Sorry, I can't play anymore. So yeah, then I begged my mom to get me a Wii U so I can play Mario Kart 8 online. That was 2015, I think, yeah. I don't know exactly when Mario Kart Wii servers were closed, but I noticed in 2015. And then she drove us to the store and she said, okay, we're gonna buy it, but then you're gonna have to carry it home because I have to go somewhere, I have an appointment. So my brother and I, we, <laughs> we took the Wii U box. I, I was holding it like this, walking home half an hour. It was the best walk of my life. Back then I didn't have anxiety. Because like if I had to do that today, I would be anxious about somebody robbing me. But back then I, I was a kid, I didn't worry about stuff like that. So Yeah, then we came home, unboxed it, played Mario Kart 8, played a little bit of New Super Mario Bros. U as well, because it came with the console. And then I played Mario Kart 8 every day until 2022, when I got it for the Switch. That was a nice memory. I, I'm truly happy with that one. It's a core memory. Super Mario 3D World. Got it, played it. It was actually the first game that I 100%ed in my entire life. And that's the reason I don't want to get on the Switch, because like I've been through it. I played each level with all five characters. <laughs> I got all green stars. I reached the top of the flagpole for every single level. I don't want to go through that again. Although you don't need to play the game the main game to play Bowser's Fury, but you know, I don't want to buy the whole game just to play Bowser's Fury, that's the thing. So I, I just won't, unless I find a friend who has it and then I can borrow it from them, but I don't have a friend. I don't have anyone that knows this, that has the game. I have like two friends that have the Switch, but they don't have any Mario games on it. 
you know Super Mario 3D Land? Not the best, the gravity is a bit weird. But Super Mario 3D World? I really like it, you know? I thought I wouldn't, but I did. I, I liked it enough to play it five times. So yeah, if you're craving a new 3D Mario game and you haven't played 3D World yet, get it on the Switch and then you get Bowser's Fury, which looks really awesome, honestly. I, I really want to play it. Yeah, the next thing... <laughs> We're gonna talk about Super Mario Galaxy 2, which technically it's a Wii game, I know, but I lost my CD back in the day and I couldn't find it, but I wanted to play Mario Galaxy 2 really badly because I just finished Mario Galaxy again, so I wanted to play the second one and I couldn't find it, so then I bought it on the Wii U eShop. Then after I finished it, my mom comes up to me, I found your game, here you go, and I just wanted to, you know, scream. <laughs> Why does that happen to me? It's like, I also lost a Club Penguin game for the DS and then I bought it, so I'm just waiting for the original to pop up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the last thing I'm gonna talk about... The Wii U went by really quickly, well... Wow. Yeah, my, my last memory that I'm gonna talk about that is Toys to Life and it's not the Disney one and it's not the Skylander one, it's the Lego one. Because over the years I've seen like all those Skylander toys and I was like, why would you play that? I don't know what's happening in the game, but then why would you play that? It's such a hassle putting the figurines on the little thing. But then Lego said, we have our own. You want to play as Batman and Gandalf? And I was like, yes, I do actually. <laughs> so then I got that game. It was so expensive. I mean, I get it because it's like a Lego, like physical Lego. But that game was so much fun. I, I never finished it in 2016 when I first got it. But in 2020, I finished it. The only thing is, you can never 100% it unless you have like a million dollars because you need all the physical characters, like physical Lego minifigures in order to like get the characters in the game. I hate that about it. The level design was really fun because, you know, it was a collaboration with all the different franchises, like The Simpsons were in the game, and like Doctor Who and Portal, I think, I'm pretty sure. Powerpuff Girls, I had I had the Powerpuff Girls minifigure. That's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> My memories with the 3DS and the Wii U. I could do the same thing with the Wii and the DS. Because those two systems, their online functionalities are also dead. They've, they've been dead for a decade now, but I have some great memories with the Wii and the DS. And then in 20 years, when the Switch's eShop will die, I will also do my memories with the Switch, because I, I have some. I broke my Joy-Con once and it started drifting, but then I left it alone for a year and it stopped, so that was fun, my magical powers. Yeah, I'm gonna go now, tell me your memories with the Wii U and the, 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 the 3DS. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and uh, have fun! Bye!